Hey, RCA Church family and others, happy Friday. Welcome back. I'm so glad you tuned in today for your weekly word, and I've got it for you. Are you ready? It's a gift. Don't you just love to receive a gift? You know, we look forward to birthdays and special occasions, anniversaries, Christmas, because we know we're going to get get something, right? We're going to receive a gift. It's exciting. I want to talk to you about a gift today, but a gift specifically from the Lord. Did you know that God has gifts for you? Uh, the best gift, the absolute most wonderful, most, most powerful, most exciting gift that there ever has been given is actually the Holy Spirit. Jesus gave the Holy Spirit. Let me read to you from Luke chapter 11, verse 11 through 13. It says this, Which of you fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead. I mean, that'd be crazy. You wouldn't do that, right? Or if he asks for an egg, we'll give him a scorpion. Again, like, we know better than that, right? He says, if then you who are evil, talking about us as human beings, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Here we have Jesus in red letters saying that he wants to give us the Holy Spirit, and, and that is such an awesome and incredible gift. And in fact, if we flip over to John chapter 16, verse 7, Jesus talks a little bit more about this gift that he wants to give all of us. He says, but I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I'm going away. Jesus here was in the flesh during his earthly life and ministry, talking to his disciples, and he's telling them, hey, it's actually, there's a time coming when I'm going to be leaving. And they were upset about that. But he said, hey, hey, it's good that I go. Because, because of this. He said, unless I go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Friend, I want you to know that Jesus has a gift he wants to give you, and that is the precious Holy Spirit. The, pre the Holy Spirit is the presence of God in our lives that inhabits us, that lives within us. It's po he's powerful. He's the third person of the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, he's not a it, he's a who, and he wants to be in relationship with you and with you. And Jesus opened the door to make that possible. You know what, in this season after Easter, and Easter was last week, we had an incredible time here, and I hope that you did as well. But, you know, it's kind of like the question is, well, well now what? Well, what? What are we supposed to do? Well, we, we take our cue from the early church. After Jesus died and rose again, of course, they were excited, but they were told to wait until they receive this incredible gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and, and you know what? That's what we need to be doing now as well. Uh, Easter has come and Easter's gone. Now what? What do we do? Well, we need to tune into the Holy Spirit. We need to wait for his guidance, for his direction, for his leading in our lives. And if we do, all I want to tell you, church, just like the book of Acts came after Jesus' earthly life and ministry, and it tells all about the incredible things that Jesus' followers did in him and through him, through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. We can live an exciting life like that. God wants to use us. God wants to move in our lives. God wants to use you to touch someone around you. But it all has to happen in and through the person and the work of the Holy Spirit. Listen, he's worth waiting on. He's worth tuning in to. He's worth laying down your agenda so you can be on the same page with him. Listen, that's your weekly word, gift, specifically the gift of the Holy Spirit. Friend, if you want to learn more about this, we're going to be launching into a five-week series here at RCA Church this coming Sunday at 1030 a.m. And guess, you, you got it right. It's called The Gift, God's Great Gift of the Holy Spirit for you and for me. Come and join us and learn more about how to live your life in tune and in step with the Holy Spirit. I hope you will, and I hope to see you soon.